Let's get started. Now, it's been an interesting week. Almost uh, close enough for me to say we've been experiencing some measure of recess. Yeah, political recess now for some days in the world of politics. In other words, the National Assembly have not been fully active in Nigeria. They've taken out their time, or they're taking their time rather, uh, to go on the much needed break just at the point where there was a political impasse at the crescendo. Let me sound Italian. Of all the evils and troubles that was going on in the terrain of politics, from defection to cross capitating to comments to disbelief to trust betrayed. And by the way, is trust really um, some trading measure in politics? Do you think politicians trust each other? I was listening to a comment earlier today, and somebody said something about we can always be friends, but we can not always have the same political alignment. Uh, we can be friends in our private space. We don't speak about politics, but when we get out there, we fight, we, we claw each other if we really have to. Now, it brings forward the question about what happens when politicians gather in a room and decide to have an agreement or agree to something or appear to agree to something. Do you think politicians or po polit politicians in Nigeria can, by any measure or standard, agree to an idea that they would uphold one way or the other? Well, recently, the People's Democratic Party and the list of its presidential candidates uh, I'm talking about what's the names now? Atiku, Tabua, Da Kwambo, Congressman, likes of them, uh, took out the time, they gathered in Abuja, uh, and yes, prepared to sign a document that would serve as some level of agreement that whosoever wins the presidential ticket of the party will get the support of every other person in the party. Simple words now. What that simply means is if you come first in this election, in our primary election, among who should win, then it will be fine for us, every other person to support the party. Now, remember, a lot of these presidential candidates within the PDP um, have had their reasons that they're trying out uh, to convince the people, convince Nigerians, convince their delegates that they know what they're doing and they will be doing what they know how to do best uh, if they get the mantle of the party to run uh, for office, which is pre pretty much like five months to the 2019 election. So Congress tried to have his own declaration and the likes of that in Eagle Square, that did not go exactly as planned for political reasons and a lot of reactions have trailed that. And uh, who else made the list now? Tambo as well, talked about, not talked about, declare or not declare. Article has been, he has declared for as far as I know, from even from the tenure of this present administration, that he would be around and interested in running for office. So it's not even about when they declared. But then, Looking at the big names that the PDP supposedly have in their corner or in the same room to agree to run or to agree to one candidate that would run if one wins, one would also now call into the question of um, the question of so how do we determine who wins? Normally, there are party politics, of course. There's the direct and indirect method of choosing who wins. Um, it's when the delegates vote, that's when the elector, that's when the delegates vote, that's when there's this level of the anointed one in the party. That peradventure, the PDP will not be doing the anointed one. They'll, they'll probably allow the delegates to vote. And I can imagine how apart the delegates or how the delegates in the party would vote for whosoever will be the choice. Now, on the other hand, the APC is trying to determine who will be or how they would arrive at the results that we all kind of can predict where we're going. That's President Mohamed Dubari rerunning or running for office. Should they use the direct method or indirect method? Should they allow delegates or should they use the, the style that was used um, for um, Huna, President Jonathan, was it? Yes, uh, President Jonathan, where pretty much only one form was printed for the party, by the party rather, uh, and available to President Jonathan at the time for him to rerun or for him to go for office again. So it brings forward some new measure of politics. So how do you size down this candidate against that candidate? And will the best of them or the best of the best of the possible best of them Will they stand a chance when they face off? Yes, that's the word I'm looking for. Face off with each other. Will anybody be able to bring up his head in the APC, for example, to say, oh, for the purpose of the primaries, I will be contending. 
the PDP on the other hand, that Tiku, Konkose, uh, Dakwambo, Tambua, will they cross each other out? And of course, we have the order about new parties. There's a list of new parties. It's an exhaustive list now, over 67 now, of po political parties. Some would, of course, endorse some other candidates in another party, uh, but of good interest, we, 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 it brings for that steady question of, so how many presidential candidates are we expecting? And will there be some that will be anointed? Will some have an easy way through? Uh, some of the people who have talked about running for office will they commit to buying firms of their parties or find another party or will parties move uh, who else will do what and by the way I missed out on somebody very important the former governor of Jigawa state Sule Lamido yeah uh, by the way is also uh, a member of the PDP and may also be running so you find all these theatrics if I may say of who should do what and when they should do it and how well they should do it uh, coming forward and coming to form. So let's see who they pick forward or what do you think? Who do you think really, really would go forward? But I'm worried for the example for the PDP. Do you think some of the best of their candidates will cross each other out and thereby reduce the chance of the party per adventure they were to be in some level of serious contest? And will the Up Progressive Congress choose possibly just one candidate? Will they also be running into deep, dark, daring waters? In the choice of the candidate. Let me know what you think. Write, write the comments. There, there's a community below here that's willing and ready to add your comments and agree and disagree with you. It's always interesting to see how those conversations go. Uh, whether you're talking about Shoere or anybody else, yeah? Let me know what you think. Uh, write back to me. Let me process this and we'll take it up from there. What do you think? And remember to subscribe to the channel and like it as well. All here on YouTube and as well on Facebook. I'm facing you right now. Thanks for listening and see you next time. I'm Philly D. Amelie.